There is a ton of hype going on right now in the Star Wars community, but which Funko Pop should you guys add to your collection before they get too expensive? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're kicking off the week with a big Star Wars video centered around seven Funko Pops all under $60 that I think you guys should add to your collections before they get too expensive. There is a lot of stuff going on in the Star Wars community right now. Of course, we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi series premiering on Disney Plus on May 25th. We also have Star Wars Celebration at the end of May. We know we're going to be getting the second second season of The Bad Batch at some point, hopefully this summer. We're also going to be getting an Ahsoka series at some point, and hopefully The Mandalorian Season 3 at the end of the year. But that's not all. Coming soon from Funko, we just got our first reveals for the very first Funko sodas coming in the form of Boba Fett, the Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, and Luke Skywalker himself. There's even a die-cast Boba Fett with a chase that could be dropping any day on the Funko shop. So if you guys are a Star Wars fanatic like myself, get ready because there is a lot to be excited about. So today we're going to be looking at seven specific Funko Pops all under $60 that I think you guys should add to your collections before they get too expensive. We actually did a part one to this video about a month ago. If you guys didn't see that video, definitely go check it out after you watch this one because there were several critical pops that we talked about that have now skyrocketed in value. So without further ado, let's get into pop number one. All right, so the first Funko Pop that we're gonna be talking about today is actually one of my favorites in my collection, and it's one that I think we could be seeing very soon in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and that comes with the Purge Trooper. If you guys have not seen this pop before, it is super cool. I actually have the EB Games exclusive variant which released up in Canada but this was a GameStop exclusive. If you guys don't know who the Purge Troopers are they are very important and I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing them at least in the background of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Everybody's been talking about the Inquisitors lately. The Purge Troopers worked directly under Darth Vader and the Inquisitors right after Order 66 to go hunt down and try to kill the remaining Jedi off, which is pretty much the plot of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This pop, believe it or not guys, is only trending for $28, and this is the only version of the Purge Trooper that Funko has ever made. We all know that Disney and Lucasfilm love just inserting different trooper variants in the background of different shows and movies. We even saw the artillery trooper in the background of The Mandalorian Season 2. And in The Mandalorian Season 1, we saw the death troopers that worked right under Moff Gideon. So there's lots of stuff going on with troopers in the Star Wars universe. And for the first pop, I don't think you guys can go wrong by picking up the Purge Trooper. So the second pop that we're going to be talking about today is a very popular character and he himself needs no introduction. However, he has a second variation of a Funko Pop that I think a lot of collectors are sleeping on and this comes with the unmasked Captain Rex. So this is the old man version of Captain Rex. It is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive from 2017. I absolutely love this pop. You can see he's got his signature blue armor on there, and of course he's wielding his double pistols. Now everybody's been going after that original Captain Rex Funko Pop that released back in 2018 for New York Comic Con. That one is selling for well over $400 for the last few months. So if you're a Star Wars collector just recently getting into the game, that is probably out of your budget. However, this Captain Rex right here is only trending for $38, and it has been rising a little bit as of recent. I have a feeling we could be seeing Captain Rex show up either in the Ahsoka series or possibly as a very quick uh, appearance in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Um, I have a, a very strong feeling we're going to be seeing him again in the Bad Batch animated series as a guide or a mentor or even just a helpful friend to the Bad Batch um, and Hunter and everybody. So I definitely think you can't go wrong. I have a feeling this pop is going to rise in value just because the original Captain Rex is just out of a lot of collector's budgets. And speaking of the Bad Batch, that brings us right into our third pop of the day and that comes with Omega. 
If you guys don't know who Omega is, then you have to go back and watch the first season of The Bad Batch. After the show dropped, they actually came out with a Target exclusive version right here of Omega, and this is the only Funko Pop that they've released as of now. So if you want to get Omega in your collection, then this is the only opportunity and the only pop that you can actually buy to do that. If you guys don't know about Omega, I'll give you a quick backstory on her. She is an unaltered clone, and she was pretty much the focal point of the Bad Batch Season 1, and I think her character has a lot of potential moving forward in the Star Wars universe. Of course, she's probably going to be in the Bad Batch Season 2, probably a little bit older as she's moving into her adolescent years, and I would love to see her team up with Hera on a bunch of missions, and of course, at some point, I would love to see her cross paths with the other unaltered clone, which is Young Boba Fett. So I really do think that you guys should grab this pop for your collection. They are probably going to come out with another version of Omega at some point, maybe with her wielding her weapon, uh, maybe a two pack with her and Wrecker because that is the other member of the Bad Batch that she has befriended the most. But either way, guys, she is only going for $22. So not a high price point for an awesome character to add to your collection. All right, guys, and that gives us the perfect segue into pop number four on today's list, which happens to be one of the variants of Boba Fett. And I absolutely cannot believe the value for this specific Boba Fett is so low. And I think a lot of collectors and hardcore Star Wars fans are missing out on this pop. So here is the white prototype version of Boba Fett which came out in 2015. It was a Walgreens exclusive, although there are a couple other variants uh, in terms of stickers for this pop. This one is only going for $40. However, it has been rising a little bit recently, and I think you guys should not sleep on this specific pop. If you guys have been paying attention to all the latest Funko news, we do know that we are getting Star Wars Funko sodas coming very soon, and the chase for the Boba Fett soda is actually him in his prototype armor. Now, some of you guys may be confused. Why is Boba Fett in his white armor? If you guys don't know, back in the late 70s when they were actually creating the Boba Fett character, this was the original armor that they actually portrayed him in and he was going to be the first in a line of super troopers that eventually got scrapped when they gave him his, of course, classic bounty hunter backstory and then given his iconic black, red, and green colors. So like I said, guys, this one's trending for only $40. It comes in that amazing amazing blue box pattern that a lot of collectors like to see with their Star Wars pops and I just think a lot of people are sleeping on this and the value could potentially rise as the Funko Soda gets closer to release. And guys, really quick, if you guys are a big Star Wars fan like myself and really enjoy collecting the Star Wars Funko Pops, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss out on any future Star Wars related content right here on the channel. So with that being said, let's get back to the list. So believe it or not, guys, we have another blue box Star Wars Funko Pop on today's list that is once again just blowing my mind with how undervalued this pop is. And it comes once again with a very popular character in Luke Skywalker, of all people. So here we go, guys. I actually have the blue box Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot Pop. Now, when it comes to blue box Star Wars Pops, a lot of people think that the blue boxes are all worth a a lot of money and the black boxes and future releases of the characters are not worth as much. That is somewhat true. Not every version of the blue box variants is worth a lot of money, so don't let anybody fool you or try to mislead you down that road. You have to look for specific things, and the biggest thing that you have to look for is the date as well as the vinyl bobblehead in big letters and uh, in the larger font on the bottom of these Funko Pops. And a lot of them are trending at hundreds to thousands of dollars for very specific characters. Right here, I had to talk about him because I can't believe he's only trending for $60. This is the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. And if you guys can see on the box, this is in fact the one with the vinyl bobblehead larger print. The other version of this pop only goes for $22, but I think a lot of people are sleeping on this pop because this should be worth just as much as some of the other big font blue box Star Wars pops, especially since we're not talking about a side character like Jabba the Hutt or um, Lando Calrissian. We're talking about Luke Skywalker, who even recently made an appearance in the Book of Boba Fett 
and Mandalorian Season 2 and is probably going to be making several more appearances in the near Star Wars future. So guys, don't sleep on this pop. This one, the one that I actually happen to have, is from 2013. So we're going on nine years old for this pop. It might be a little bit tougher to find. However, if you guys see this one with the larger font, do not hesitate. Grab it because I think this is on the verge of becoming a triple digit Funko Pop. All right, guys, so coming in at number six on our list, we only have two more Funko Pops to talk about for today, and that comes with, yet again, another Luke Skywalker Pop, and I think you guys need to jump on this one right now because its value has come way down, and it has just opened the door for a lot of collectors who at one point probably thought this pop was way too expensive and out of reach for them to get one day. So, guys, check this out. We actually have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing, I actually have mine out of box because I think it is one of the best Star Wars Funko Pops that you have to display out of box. So here is Luke Skywalker in his classic Red 5 X-Wing. And guys, check it out. You not only get Luke Skywalker in the cockpit, but you also have a little baby R2-D2 droid. The detailing on this pop is just fantastic. Funko was just firing on all cylinders when they made this pop. Now, the reason this pop has come down so much in value is because it actually restocked about a year and a half ago. This one was a Walmart exclusive and it is sold for as high as $160 before the restock overseas, which has brought the value of this pop down to $60. So I bet there are a lot of people out there, including some of you guys who are probably watching this video right now, who thought at one point that this pop was just way too expensive, it was out of reach, but like I just mentioned with all the Luke Skywalker content on the horizon, this is a perfect time to grab Luke's iconic Red 5 Star, Star, uh, X-Wing and add it to your Star Wars collection. All right, so for our very last Star Wars Funko Pop that we're gonna talk about today, comes with a character who is very well known, from the dark side. And there's a lot of hype and speculation going on with this character right now because of all the things happening with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And that character is Darth Maul. So I actually grabbed one of the Darth Maul Funko Pops and this one I think is actually the best version that Funko has made. This is the hooded Darth Maul Funko Pop which was released back in 2017, or excuse me, 2019 and exclusive to Star Wars Celebration. I absolutely love this pop. I have a soft spot for all of the hooded Jedi and Sith Funko Pops. I just think they look phenomenal. Now this one right here is the one with the Celebration sticker which does sell for over $100. However, they also made a shared version of this specific Funko Pop which only goes for about $44. So there is a pretty significant gap in the Celebration and shared sticker leaving a big opportunity for a lot of collectors to go out and grab that shared sticker version before it starts starts to rise and catch up to the celebration sticker price. Now, with all the speculation and rumors regarding Darth Maul, we actually just found out that Darth Maul was actually cut from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, so he wouldn't take away the spotlight from Anakin Skywalker, of course, who is now Darth Vader. For those of you guys who don't know, Darth Maul has had some pretty significant run-ins with Obi-Wan, as Obi-Wan was responsible for being the one who actually cut him in half, and then uh, through the, his will, through the dark side of the Force, he was able to come back and then was given those robotic legs, which we saw in the Clone Wars show and the Rebel show. But now it's being rumored that Darth Maul Bay maybe given his own show on Disney Plus. Now, no one's been cast as the character. It's a very loose rumor. However, Darth Maul is a very popular character, and I think there is a lot of potential for this character to be seen in some future Star Wars shows, and I have no doubt that Disney is not going to waste an opportunity with a character such as Darth Maul, so it is a perfect time to pay attention to some of his Funko Pops, and I'm thinking especially the hooded version. All right, guys, and with that being said, because it is Monday, I had to bring you guys a little bit of Monday motivation, just like we do every single week. Now, today happens to be the very last Monday here in March, and if you guys didn't know, March is uh, deemed as the International Women's Month. And for today's motivation, I want you guys to be thankful and glad that you have either at least one woman or a group of women in your life that have made an impact. And I'm gonna start with myself. I am very thankful 
for the uh, very close women that I have in my life. Of course, I absolutely love my wife, Joanna. She is everything that is important to me in this world. But I also want to give a huge shout out to her older sister, which some of you guys may know because she has appeared in a few videos right here on the channel. So her older sister, Rita, has been an amazing person and a huge influence to me in my life. She's been a great motherly figure and pretty much whenever we have an issue, whether it comes to uh, us needing a snack or having some kind of uh, medical crisis, she is pretty much the first one on our speed dial. And as somebody who is a frontline worker, we are just very grateful all around that Rita is not only in my life, but in mine and Joanna's life. So down in the comment section below, guys, please let me know at least one woman, whether it's your wife, girlfriend, best friend at school, co-worker, uh, fellow collector here in the community. Let me know one woman that you guys are thankful for. I want to hear about these awesome people that are in your life. And guys, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be back on the WhatNot app. We have a massive auction scheduled for you guys. It is already up, so if you want to go bookmark it so you do not miss out, please go ahead and do so. We actually just got in over the weekend our brand new Slap Shop Pops t-shirts, and I think as of the recording of this video, we do have a few shirts left if you guys want to grab them. We only ordered 20, and I'm actually keeping one, so there's only 19 available for those of you guys who do want to pick one up. We also are very fortunate enough to have some of the brand new sodas that we're going to be putting in our soda games tonight, so you guys are not going to want to miss out on your potential first opportunity to grab those amazing sodas for your collection. With that being said, guys, let me know what you thought of today's Star Wars Funko Pops that you guys should buy list today. I would love to hear everybody's feedback and your comments. And as always, guys, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all tonight.